Hi guys, this is probably going to be one of my last book look videos for the school year since that time is approaching. Um, the first new books that I want to show you come from the True Book Nonfiction series and these ones are all about the national parks. So there are one, two, three, there's six in the series. Um, there's a book on Zion, the Great Smoky Mountains, Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, the Rocky Mountains, and Yellowstone. So if you're not familiar with the true books, um, they're very short, easy, quick reads, about 30, 35 pages. So if you like to travel or if you have been to any of these national parks or you're interested in them, these would be some good books for you to check out. And now I'm going to switch over to some new fiction books. So first up, I have two books by Gary Paulson, and these are not new books by him, but they are books that our library did not have. So we have Popcorn Days and Buttermilk Nights, and then we also have The Hay Meadow. So these are your traditional Gary Paulson books where there's like a troubled youth um, spending time in the wilderness, usually trying to take care of a problem. And these are both reading counts. Um, they have a lexile of about high 900s, low 1000s. So if you would like to read either one of these, come see me. I also have a book called Little Blog on the Prairie. This book is super cute. Um, the main character is a teenage girl, and for the summer, she is at a summer camp, and at this camp, they have to live like early pioneers or early settlers, so think no cell phone, no internet, um, and <laughs> so she decides to start a blog and kind of talk about her experiences. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty good, pretty humorous. Then I have a, this is kind of a classic. It's called The Crazy Horse Electric Game by Chris Crutcher. And this is a fiction book. Baseball is one of the main focuses in it. Um, the main character is a teenage boy who gets injured um, and it kind of affects his baseball game and affects a lot of things going on in his life. It's very, very good come check that out. And then the last new fiction book I have is more fantasy. It's called The Nest, and this is by Kenneth Opal. And in this book, the main character has a very sick baby brother, and each night he has these dreams where wasps come, and these wasps um, want to help take care of his sick baby brother. So I know it sounds kind of bizarre, but if you like fantasy or if you like books that are kind of strange, then you might enjoy this. It is also reading counts. All of these fiction books are reading counts. So I will be setting these out on the shelf today. If you're interested, come see me, come visit the library, send me an email. Also, I just wanted to say that April's Library Challenge is up and running. It is a challenge that needs to be done in the library. And what you are doing is trying to identify different reading genres based on descriptions. So if you are interested in that, you need to come in the library and do it. It'll take probably about 10 minutes or so. And the last day to do that will be April 30th. So see you guys later.